So I got a comment on one of my videos asking what was the difference between units and dosage. So I figured I would make just a little helpful uh, video explaining the thing. So I have two vials here. Both of these are two milligrams of a peptide or 20 milligrams of a peptide. 20 milligrams were in here, 20 milligrams were in here. But in this one, I only added one milliliter of BAC, bacteriostatic fluid. But in this one, I added two milliliters of bacteriostatic water. They're both still 20 milligrams of peptides, but this one is a higher concentration than this one. Now let's address units. In the simplest terms, 100 units is just a percentage point of a milliliter. So here is a syringe. It is a one milliliter syringe. And you can see the numbers right here, like up to 100. Each one of these is one unit. So a unit is nothing more than one one hundredth of a milliliter. How does the concentration affect how much peptide is in each unit? So I've made a little chart here. Hopefully you can see it. So let's just start with one unit. And we're going to start with the easy math, which is when you add two milliliters to 20 milligrams. One unit is going to be 0 0.1 milligram. Five units is going to be 0 0.5 milligrams. And 10 units is going to be one milligram of a peptide. So if our dosage is two milligrams, we would need 20 units. And I have got, I preloaded a syringe and you could see 20 units, this is two milligrams of this peptide. Now, let's see what happens when we do a, a different concentration. We added half the amount of liquid, so it's gonna be twice the concentration. So here, one unit is 0 0.2 milligrams. Five units is going to be one milligram. And to get our dosage of two milligrams, we only need 10 units. So here I have a syringe, 10 units. So these two syringes are the exact same dosage. It's just this one is 10 units to get me to the dosage, and this one is 20 units to get me to the dosage. My personal preference when I mix peptides is to go with an easy math ratio. There's calculators online, but I like the easy math ratio where for every 10 milligrams, I would add one milliliter of um, bacteriostatic fluid. So if it was 10 milligrams, I would just add one milliliter. If it was 24 milligrams, I would add 2.4 milliliters, which would be two of these syringes and then to the 40. This way, it's easy for me to calculate my dose in milligrams because 10 units equals one milligram, 20 units equals two milligrams, 30 units equals three milligrams. I find that easy. The only problem is if your dosage is going to be above four milligrams, then that could be a lot to uh, pin. So in that case, my alternate is to go what I call, you know, a half ratio or double the concentration. In other words, I add in exactly half the bacteriostatic fluid. So for, for instance, if it was 24 milligrams over here, I would only add 1.2 milliliters of water, which is one complete one and then to the 20. And then that makes it so that my dose is just always twice as, it's just always twice as strong. So 10 units would equal two milligrams. Um, 20 units would equal four milligrams. Anyway, hopefully that helps you guys wrap your mind around the difference between dosage, milligrams, and units. So just to summarize, a unit is nothing more than one one hundredth of a milliliter. How much dosage you depend you get depends on the concentration of the fluid, which is entirely dependent on how much milliliter of bacteriostatic fluid you add to your peptide. Anyway, have a great day.